name is Ben Lawton, I'm known as Barn Door Ben. I've owned a lot of uh, barn doors and split buses, probably approaching 70 split buses. I've had about 30 barn doors and this is actually my eighth barn door deluxe. Now, I found this bus on the samba.com, it was for sale. Bad advert, one photo of the bus and they didn't really know what it was. And that was in 2017. I offered the bus to a couple of mates who I knew were looking, tried to get people interested, and it did come back to the UK with another guy, a friend of mine, Di Watkins, and then fairly inevitably it ended up with me in 2019. When the bus was found, it was it can only be described as pretty gnarly. It was found in the forests of Quebec by a um, logging team who didn't realise what they'd found, picked the bus up with a log grab and moved it to one side, destroying it. It was bent like a banana, a right old mess. So it needed a crazy amount of metalwork to get it straight again. We managed to save most of the original metalwork, which is fantastic work by Irv and his team. So I've been into the VW scene now for many, many years. I remember when I was a kid reading Volkswagen magazine and dreaming about my Cadillac Beetle I was going to own one day. And I actually bought my first bay window when I was 16 years old, so I didn't even have a license. I finally bought my first split in 2007 and then things just got out of hand from there. So this bus threw up a lot of challenges in the restoration. The first one, when I took it up to Herbs for the meta work, I wanted to try and save everything. From there, personally, one of the biggest in this project was stripping all the paint. Eight solid days with razor blades and paper trying to strip off all the horrifically strong green and white paint that covered the bus. The good thing is eight days of hard work paid dividends because I unveiled so much original paint, we found the stripes on it and then my good friends Ollie and Ben at Beetle Magic who helped me with the restoration once the meta work was straight. Ollie did a lot of the blending and then we polished everything back. The whole point of the project was to try and save originality. I think we kind of succeeded. We decided with the running gear that we would lower the bus, bring it up to date a little bit. So we've, we've got a, a late split screen front beam. We've got a Beetle gearbox and adjustable spring plates. And then motor-wise, Beetle Magic built me a 1776 with a racy cam and a few nice bits in it, which makes it a lot of fun to drive. Uh, in terms of future plans for the bus, just use and abuse it really. I've kind of got it how I want it. With so many buses under my belt, people ask me what's the bus that I really want to find and it's always been a 1950 barn door. After a decade of searching, I've found my unicorn. I've found my um, September 1950 panel van, Belgian van, which is in a really, really bad state. But it's all there, it will be reassembled and I've actually started tinkering with the chassis already. Like I say, no, no more buses and then another one comes along. So. For now, that's my unicorn. So my name's Barndor Ben. Check out my 1955 Canadian Barndor Deluxe in Hayburner magazine.